Hello, my name is Debbie Morgan, and I'm here to join you so we can have a discussion, a talk about number blocks and learn some maths together. I wonder if you can know what episode this picture is from. Yes, you're right. It's the episode in which six joins Numberland for the first time. The number blocks make a new friend. Up till now, we've just had number one, number two, three, four and five that you can see on the screen. But in this episode, they're really excited because six joins them. Would you like to pause the video now and just have a chat with your adult about what you noticed about that episode? Tell your adult what happened in that episode. OK, you're back. I hope you had a good chat because it's really good to talk about what you notice in the number blocks episode. I wonder if you talked about how six came about. Six came about from when five and one joined together. So we've now got six blocks and we've now got da -da, the number six. And have you noticed something special about her blocks? She has some dice patterns on them. And we're going to think a little bit about those dice patterns. Number one, he spotted or she spotted, I should say, she spotted that there is one of six's blocks has one spot on it to represent number one. That's that's her. That's number one. Number two, he spotted that there's a block with two on it. Number three has spotted there's a block with three on. And number four has spotted there's a block with four on. And number five has spotted there's a block with five on. There's only five blocks up till now though. What's the missing one? You're right, it's six. Let's get the six block. And with the six blocks, six appears. There we've got six with her six blocks. As we said, there's something special about her blocks, these dice patterns. I'm wondering if you've ever looked at a dice. If not, try and get hold of one after the programme and see what you notice about it. Can you see these six patterns on, on a dice? Let's have a look at those patterns now and see if you can. I'm going to ask you to do something that's really mathematical. And that is, can you spot the number without counting? I'm wondering if you know how many is there, even without counting. It's four, isn't it? It's four. Don't worry if you had to count, but just try and give yourself a practice at spotting numbers without counting, particularly on, on a dice. Number three. Number five. Number one. And number two. OK, should we have a bit more practice? Let's go for it again. Let's do a bit more practice at spotting numbers without counting. Are you ready? Four. Two. Three. Five. One. Three. Four. One. Four, five, four. How did you get on? Don't worry if you didn't get them all right. That's OK. It takes lots of practice, but keep practicing. It's a good skill to have it for a mathematician, which you are. OK, thinking still about those dice patterns, let's think about the number two on what that looks like. And I'm going to choose two stars that have that pattern. I'm wondering which two stars you would choose. I'm going to choose that one and that one. Does that look like that pattern? I think it does. Let's have another go. This time we're going to, I'm going to choose four of the triangles 
that make a pattern of four on the dice. Let's have a look. I'm going to choose that one and that one and that one and that one. Does that look like the four on a dice? I think it does. Let's have another go. This time I'm not going to show you the dice, but I am going to tell you that I want to make the number five. Mm, I wonder, can you remember what the five pattern looks like? I'm going to choose that one and that one and that one and that one. Have I got five yet? Oh, I need another one. I do. Um, oh, I have that one in the middle. Yeah, there's one in the middle, isn't there? On a five dice pattern. And there's that five dice pattern um, above number five. This week, I've been thinking about the number six and I like collecting things. So I've got boxes that have got six things in them. I'm wondering if you know what these are. It's a chopstick. And in children in China, they don't eat with knives and forks. Instead, they eat with chopsticks and they have two chopsticks um, to pick up their food with. I think it's a bit trickier than a knife and fork, but the children in China get really good at eating with them. I'm wondering if we can just check that I've got six chopsticks. You need to count with me. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I've got another box because we've been thinking about dice. In this box, I put some dice. Can you see them? I'm wondering if you spotted that on the top row, I've got three dice and on the bottom row, I've got another three. So I've got six altogether. In another box, I've got some things called Smurfs. Um, I wonder if you've seen them before. I'll just show you one. They're like little teddies. Let's see if I've got six Smurfs. One Smurf, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, they're getting in the way. I'm going to quickly collect them up and put them back in my box. I wonder if you want to do that. It's a really nice activity is to get some little collection boxes and go and see if you can collect and put six things in each. And then just check you've got six things by counting them. Another thing I want you to think about from the episode is that six, she loves playing games. I'm wondering if you can make a game to play, maybe a game that involves a dice. Um, I've made a game here. I've just drawn six circles and I put the numbers one to six inside. And the rule of my game is that you throw the dice and I'm going to roll my dice. Oh, I've got a six straight away so I can put a block in my six space on my game. You might want to make that game or you might want to invent a different game. Six loves making games. If you can get hold of a dice, they're very interesting. First, to look at the patterns that are on there. But secondly, I'm wondering if you want to investigate what the opposite sides add up to. There is a pattern. So I've got a six on this side and the opposite side, the side that's facing me, has got, oh, it's got a one on it. I'm wondering if you with your adult want to investigate what the opposite pairs of the dice, the opposite faces of the dice add up to. I'm wondering if you can spot um, a pattern there. OK, I've enjoyed talking about the number six. I hope you have. Um, don't forget your activities, collecting thick things, making a game, um, looking at a six dice and just a little word to your adults. We've looked at 
something called subitizing in this episode. It simply means to recognize a number without counting. It's well worth with your child practicing that skill um, because the research says that children who can do that um, do well in, 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 in mathematics as they progress through the school. So a good skill to develop. Um, playing games um, with, with a six, help your child to invent a game. It would be a great thing to do. And just talking about six, not necessarily a special activity, but just helping your child count when you spot a collection of six objects or any other number um, of objects, of course. Okay, have fun. Bye-bye.